to my channel or welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having an amazing day and happy Easter Sunday. My name is TV, and if you're a true crime lover like me, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment down below. I post very interesting uh, true crime videos every single week, Mondays and Fridays, ASMR style, and also follow my TikTok. I post true crime snippets there as well. Today's story is about the Supo family who was murdered on March 23rd, 2008. If you're interested ab about this case, sit back, relax, grab a snack, and enjoy some crime time. Warning, this content is for educational purposes only. Some viewers might find this disturbing. Parental discretion is advised. Stephen and Cheryl Supel adopted four kids from South Korea, Ethan, 10, Seth, 7, Mira, 5, and Eleanor, 3. They got married at St. Mary's Catholic Church in Iowa City on June 16. search. 
message, he states that his family is in heaven. It is believed he killed his wife, but the kids were still alive. Sunday night, 11.30 p.m. to early Monday morning. According to a letter written by Stephen, allegedly, he gathered all four of his children, putting them into the family van, which was parked in an enclosed garage. He tries to kill them and himself by carbon monoxide poisoning. When this didn't work out, he takes the kids back inside and bludgeons them to death. The three oldest were found in their bedrooms, and the youngest, Eleanor, was found downstairs in the toy room. Monday, 3.45 a.m. Stephen leaves a voicemail on the office phone of the Hills and Trust Bank. The extent of this message were never released. Monday, 3.50 a.m. Stephen leaves a voicemail on his answering machine, explaining how regretful he was. Monday, 4.01 a.m. Stephen leaves another voicemail on his answering machine, stating he tried to drown himself in the Iowa River at Lower City Park, but he would not sink. Monday, 6.31 a.m. Stephen calls 911, stating that an emergency was needed at his home address of 629 Barrington Road. He stated that they needed to go there immediately. The dispatcher asks what was going on, and Stephen hangs up. Monday, 6.36 a.m. Stephen takes the family van speed rate, he crashes into a concrete pillar, and the van instantly bursts into flames on Interstate 80. According to witnesses, Stephen purposefully crashed into the concrete pillar. According to the medical examiner, there wasn't a weapon identified, but police believe there may have been two baseball bats involved. After the word was out, the entire community were extremely shocked and devastated, as you can imagine. Rest in paradise to all five of these beautiful souls. May their family and friends find peace and strength. So much for watching this video. If you're into this type of content, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear you guys' feedback and what you thought about this case. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll catch you on my next video.